Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Zat Shalcross battled disordered eating and severe weight loss. Bachelor Season 27 star Zat Shalcross recently opened up about his battle with disordered eating and severe weight loss. He's the latest reality star to vulnerably share the truth about the taboo topic. Keep reading for all the details including how he overcame the serious health issue. Before he was a reality TV star, Zach Shellcross was a star athlete in high school and college. During a recent guest spot on the Real Vibe TV podcast, the former football player opened up about his past battle with disordered eating. I took intermittent fasting to a new level, he revealed. According to Shellcross, he weighed 300 elbs at his heaviest during his football career. Hard to believe now but the future reality star went on an extreme diet with a friend from the team to shed the pounds quickly. He lost 40 or 50 pounds within a month of dieting, but his methods were seriously unhealthy. I was probably eating 700 to 800 calories a day and I was working out with my best friend, he shared. Limiting their calorie intake had consequences for Zach Shalcross and his friend. We were starving by lunch. He added that they would compete with each other to see who could eat less and lose weight faster. Our lunch would be half of a Quaker granola bar. We would only eat ground turkey, the bachelorette alum said about his bad eating habits. Satch Shalcross opened up about how the extra pounds made him feel. I was sweating all the time and didn't feel good in my own skin. It affected so many different aspects of my life, like how I viewed myself, how I thought others viewed me, and I just felt gross in my own body, he said. However, he had the foresight to keep his disordered eating in check before it got too out of control. Eating disorders are no joke, and we had to be very cautious about it. He continued, I knew it couldn't go on forever, and we took it to an extreme. So how did he stop his disordered eating and extreme diet? The first step Zach Shellcross took to recover was to focus on his mental health. For a long time, the football weight, college, dating, and growing up, I was trying to find myself. I was running into a lot of self-image issues. I had little to no confidence. I had body image issues. But the future reality star hit a point where he sought help and went to therapy. I went for about a year or so and addressed what was going on, he said about the recovery. Therapy is clearly something he believes in, his fiance Katie Bigger, revealed they sought couples counseling after The Bachelor to help navigate their relationship. Zach Shalcross admitted on the podcast that he's still a work in progress regarding his body image. Does it surprise you that The Bachelor star struggled with weight issues? Share your thoughts in the comments. In the quiet corners of his mind, Zach Shalcross battled a storm that raged within him, a tempest born from the relentless whispers of doubt and the unyielding grip of disordered eating. It was a battle fought in the shadows, away from prying eyes, where the echoes of his struggle reverberated through the chambers of his soul. For Zatch, the journey into the labyrinth of disordered eating began innocuously enough, a whisper of dissatisfaction that grew into a deafening roar. It started with innocent thoughts of wanting to shed a few pounds, to fit into the mold society deemed acceptable, but as the pounds melted away, so too did his sense of control, slipping through his fingers like grains of sand. At first it was subtle. The skipped meals, the meticulous counting of calories, the relentless pursuit of perfection, but soon it spiraled into an all-consuming obsession, a hunger that could never be sated. Each day became a battle, a tug of war between the desire to nourish his body and the insatiable need to shrink it down to nothingness. As the numbers on the scale plummeted, so too did Zach's sense of self-worth. He became a prisoner of his own reflection, haunted by the distorted image staring back at him from the mirror. No matter how much weight he lost, it was never enough. The quest for perfection became an endless cycle of self-destruction, leaving him trapped in a downward spiral from which escape seemed impossible. With each passing day, Zach's body withered away, a mere shell of its former self. The hollow emptiness inside him mirrored the gauntness of his frame, a stark reminder of the toll that disordered eating had taken on his mind, body, and soul. Yet even as his physical health deteriorated, the grip of the disorder only tightened, its tendrils weaving deeper into the fabric of his being. But amidst the darkness a glimmer of light emerged, a flicker of hope that refused to be extinguished. 
It came in the form of a gentle voice, a voice that spoke not of judgment, but of compassion. It was the voice of a friend, a confidant who saw beyond the surface and into the depths of Zatch's struggle. With unwavering support, Zatch began to confront the demons that had long held him captive. He sought help from professionals who understood the complexities of disordered eating, embarking on a journey of healing that would test his resolve like never before. It was a journey fraught with setbacks and challenges, but also one filled with moments of triumph and redemption. Slowly but surely, Zatch began to reclaim his sense of self. He learned to nourish his body not out of fear, but out of love and respect. He discovered the beauty in imperfection, embracing the flaws that once filled him with shame, and most importantly he found solace in the knowledge that he was not alone, that there were others who walked beside him, their footsteps echoing his own. As the days turned into weeks, and the weeks into months, Zatch's body began to heal. The hollow cheeks filled out, the sunken eyes regained their sparkle, and the vitality that had long lain dormant returned with a vengeance. But it was not just his physical health that flourished, it was his spirit, unshackled from the chains of self-doubt and insecurity. Today Zatch stands tall, a testament to the power of resilience and the triumph of the human spirit. His battle with disordered eating may have left scars, but it also forged a strength within him that is unbreakable. He is no longer defined by the number on the scale or the reflection in the mirror, but by the courage it took to confront his demons and emerge victorious. In his journey, Zach Shawcross discovered that true beauty lies not in the pursuit of perfection, but in the acceptance of oneself, flaws, and all. And though the road ahead may still be fraught with challenges, he walks it with his head held high, knowing that he is stronger than the storm that once threatened to consume him.